Huzzah everybody, welcome back to a Fallout video. This is actually a very special video because it is the first commission I've ever actually done for someone and then later on towards the end of the video I uh, recreated it and made it a little bit different which you've probably seen on stream. But this is the version I made for myself, it's my current camp, however don't worry, that's not the actual one I made for them. Uh, that's the blueprint that I made to actually get all this kind of stuff finalized. And then the cool thing with the building system in uh, Fallout is you can just replace all the walls. So, zip zap zoop. It's a really good way of making a camp. You can just blueprint it with something really cheap and easy. And this is the interior I wanted to show you because this is actually a recreation uh, of which I'll get into in a second. But it's really simple, right? Just build what you want, how you need it with the really terrible walls, then zip zappity zoop it into position with the uh, walls that you're actually going to use. And there you go. You've got a camp made and it costs you pretty much nothing. So you don't have to worry about like spending a bunch of resources doing any of this crud. You can just make it with the really simple wooden walls and then change it into the walls that you actually want. It's really simple. Go for it. Uh, but this is actually the blueprint. So this is the floor plan that I designed and it's actually... Uh, a recreation that someone commissioned me to do because I am now part of a uh, group called the Appalachian, uh, Appalachian Camp Association, the ACA, who um, will build camps for people who want a camp built. You can come on in, you can request a camp, and one of the builders in the group will pop on Xbox, PC, or PS4. I'm the only PS4 builder right now, and uh, we'll build you a camp. And this is actually the finalized camp that I built for the person who requested it. It is, uh, and I'll put the picture up on screen now. There we go. Uh, it's actually a recreation of the Texan Capitol building. I don't know the dates, even though the picture's on screen. I'm doing this. I'm putting the picture on post-edit. <laughs> Movie magic, baby. Uh, but it's it's a recreation of the Capitol building. And the cool thing was, I actually got to work with the dude uh, uh, and help him make the camp that he wanted in, in the meantime. He runs a bunch of stuff. He's doing some faction stuff. So he wanted it to actually be a functional camp and not just a camp for design. There he is right there. Uh, dressed as Woody for some reason. But... Um, we actually split this into two parts. So on one side, now because it's a capital building, it held, you know, elections and all this kind of stuff. I don't know. It's America. I'm English. So on one side, we built a, a I don't know, a debate hall or a, an election hall or something like that. I can't remember the name of it. But as you can see, we've, we've made enough space for people who run the faction to sit at the back there with the picture of the, the bald guy with his nice shiny gleamy head and of course the american flags with the bunting gotta have that bunting and the podium in the middle uh, made out some of the stuff like that as well as place for delegates to come and sit i had a lot of fun making this it was actually it was actually a, a buttload of fun and then on the opposite side i'm gonna call this an office okay it, i'm gonna call it an office don't know what it actually was it is there was on the blueprint as you could see on in the picture there is you know stuff on the left and stuff on the right but we changed it up a little bit so this i guess you could say is a deliberating room for uh the upper class <laughs> even though you know it'd be <laughs> the upper class <laughs> as they played the banjos i don't know anything about texas apart from it's you can never escape texas and then in the back we had like a members room where all the uh all the people would just come and drink flagons of ale and all that kind of fun stuff but that was the build that i did for him Funnily enough, I had actually blueprinted something before I went to that guy, and then thanks to Bethesda's terrible system, uh, I had trouble making it. But I completely and utterly overhauled this, and this here I wanted to show is my roof, because I changed the roof up completely, and that's where I hide my power. you you got to think about these things, okay? you got to think. you got to think, where am I going to hide my power? Um, so it's the, same, it's the same layout, okay? It's the same blueprint, but it's using the contemporary... Um, porch fencing walls i don't know what it's freaking called and sadly it does have a floating staircase um if you saw me building this on stream you know what i did by the way real quick uh in all the videos from now on i'm going to be hiding a plushie of a specific plushie that i'll name as of now uh it's going to be the silver shroud spot the silver shroud plushie it's only in my part of the build so spot the silver shroud plushie and put it in the comment section when you spotted the plushie and i'll tell you if you're right or not there we go that's out of the way um so you know that on one side of my build i actually separated this one into two builds as well so i've just got a corridor here i like the fact that there was nothing on the walls and when you walk down it it looks really freaky like it's some sort of weird twilight zone thing you know as you walk down it it makes the corridor look longer than it is and there's my pet um my pet flamingo out there my 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 metal as fuck pet flamingo because he's got cool decorations on himself but if you appeared on the stream you know that on the left hand side i built this which is a 
a diner, but I didn't actually build all of it on stream, uh, so I had a lot of fun. I built the booths, I built the tables, and I built my super sexy uh, space couch, which took me like 30 minutes to build. It was a pain in the ass. It's a merged down corner couch, um, and it's 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 lovely. I, I love that. And by the way, there's a plushie on top of the jukebox right there. You don't, yeah, I know that. I know he's there. It's not the Silver Shroud. It's Sir Crockington. Uh, Sir Crockington will be appearing in all of my videos, hopefully, and I'm still trying to get that backpack. Uh, which I don't have, but there's my corner couch that I loved making. It's uh, it's off someone else's design from Reddit, which was then made by DTD uh, um, and a bunch of other people. But I built a uh, a very tiny, very tiny counter in which uh, Marvin the Martian, or I'd, give me a name for this guy. I don't know what to name the alien. I I, I called him Marvin the Martian because of the cool cartoon. Um, but the Martian is at the bar having a bit of fun, uh, and then I in the back. I went away and designed my very cramped, very realistic uh, kitchen, which is based off a place that I used to work in, uh, an Italian restaurant, which is absolutely tiny, Jesus Christ. But I had a lot of fun with this, and I had a spare room left over, so I thought, storage room, everything's going in there, whatever I can think of that just goes in, because when I worked in an Italian restaurant, there was 800 things in a room half the size of that. Yeah. Boggle that through your mind, mate. Imagine trying to find stuff in that room. And by the way, I know there was 800 things in there because the guy who ran it, Tony, told me there was 800 things in there. And that guy's crazy. Um, so I st st stuffed a bunch of stuff in there trying to make it look like, you know, we've got a spare set of flamingos, a spare uh, nuka girl that we just put there. There's a set Santa Claus stuck in the wall for a bit of fun, like a Christmas decoration that we never took down. Bunch of stupid fun like that. Um, but that, that's like the diner section. It's kind of mix and match you've got family booths you've got solo tables and then you've got that t uh, the couch over in the corner if you just want to sit and read a magazine or anything like that however the posh side of me came out and on the opposite side i decided to build a sitting room which is technically designed off old gentlemen's clubs where um you would go in and you'd smoke a cigar or a cigarette or a pipe and uh, drink a sherry or a whiskey and read the paper and not talk yeah it's weird um but I, it, this one was quite a quite basic however Spot the thing that uh, might be hiding in plain sight behind a jackalow. Can you spot it? It's right there. It's right in front of you. We've gone past it. Yeah, there's a secret door. Uh, so once again, we have an alien and a Wendigo Colossus just chilling. Uh, you probably saw if uh, I posted this on on Twitter. But behind the jackalow or the jackalope or whatever it is, that's the actual mounted thing. Um, I built a bedroom for my guy. That's pretty simple right there. It's, yeah, whatever. Uh, but before the video ends, I want to talk to you about the ACA real quick. So uh, in the description down below, you'll be able to find a link to their Reddit and their Discord, hopefully. Um, I'll, I'll stick with Reddit for now. I might get a Discord in in a bit. Uh, but they, they build camps for people on PC, Xbox, and I'm the only PS4 builder right now. So if you want a camp built by someone who I'm going to say is professional, because damn, they've made some sexy ass camps. Um, Hop on over, you can request to build one. If you want to be a builder yourself, you can actually come along and join them in as well. But right now, come check them out. They're not brand, brand new, but they're a pretty decent group of guys. Uh, so come check them out if you want to camp build, and uh, they'll probably be able to tell you more in the Discord itself, because I'm pretty brand new to it as well. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed my weird first video back to Fallout. You guys know the drill. Like, share, and subscribe. And until the next time, stay awesome.